Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Squad Help's White Label Marketplace. My name's Grant, and I'm joined with my colleague, Kathleen. She's one of the branding experts at squadhelp.com. And before we get started, I'm going to ask her a quick question. Kathleen, what have you learned in your experience with selling, with working with a lot of buyers, the, is something really important about selling, getting domains sold? So one of the biggest things that we've noticed is that domain buyers are more likely to move forward with a name if it ties into a story, concept, or you know something meaningful other than just a simple name. So the more context that a name has, the more likely a buyer will move forward with it. That's perfect. And I think what, a lot of what you're talking about is the description. When you have a domain, it's maybe one or two words, maybe they're blended on a page. So it's words on a page. But when you can use a description to tie those words into metaphors and stories and talk about how they relate to each other and paint a bigger brand picture that can really help sell domains. Is that correct? Exactly. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started. I have a example of a white label marketplace here. And what you're going to get with the white label marketplace, you're going to have a tool to host your own portfolio in a marketplace that's powered by Squad Help's cutting edge technology, such as AI and much more, and also has our our world-class customer support. So you're going to have 24-7 customer support that's, that your viewers, your visitors, um, prospective buyers are going to be able to engage with. Okay, so now that we kind of know what it looks like, how would we go about getting started with a white label marketplace? Absolutely, that's a great question. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your dashboard and you're going to start with configuration. The first thing you need to, know, to determine is which URL do you want your white label marketplace to point to? That you put in here, and then you can click on, I went there, and then you can click on view configuration instructions to dig deeper into exactly how to get that set up. The next decision you have is which, what is your landing page destination? What this means is when somebody types in the .com that you have listed on the white label marketplace, you can choose, does it go to the Squad Help branded marketplace, Squad Help's logo, so on and so forth, or does it go to your branded marketplace? So why would someone choose one over the other? Absolutely. If you choose your own branded marketplace, that's a great decision, and it's going to keep the, the branding with, within your, your own marketplace and have, have all of your information on there. Some people like to use Squad Help's marketplace for what is called borrowed credibility. Squad Help has a lot of information. We have great reviews online. So if people do more research, they're going to find a lot more about Squad Help. So in some cases, um, people who own white label marketplaces and use our, the, this tool like to have the landing page of Squad Help. That makes sense. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose a theme. At this point, we have two themes. We have a modern theme, as you're going to see over here, and we have a professional theme. Much of the setup is the same, but let me go through some of the, the some things that are the same and some of the things that are different. The first thing, once you've chosen the theme, you're going to need to do is choose a headline. You can write a subheadline as well and you can write in some specific information about an about section. You're going to choose the logo that you want to, um, to show at the top of your website. You have the ability to choose a favicon. And then you can come and select an image option, or you can upload your own image. However, there's some little differences if you go in and look at the professional um, template or the professional theme here. Mm -hmm. All the texts are the same. In this situation, you can either choose a from several different color backgrounds, or you can come over here and choose an image background. We have many images for you to select, uh, as well as uploading your own. One other neat thing is if you, you can choose um, a, a white or black text. So if you choose a lighter 
background, you can choose a black text. If you choose a darker background, you can choose a white text to make sure the text is visible, visible over the, um, the background that you choose. Okay. Once you've set up your theme, you can go and you can choose the uh, how you want your contact information to display. For both the phone number and the email address, you can either choose to have Squad Help's phone number um, or Squad Help's email, or you can have your own contact information. Um, the benefit of using Squad Help is that we're here. 24-7, um, we're, we're, we're able to respond really quickly. We have lots of processes and, and techniques set up. Um, so we're really built out to, to do this in a very professional way. But some people like to control this process and they want to have their own information on the page and that's just fine as well. Okay. Lastly, okay. on this page, you can set up your analytics. Um, we're, we're plugged into Google Analytics and we have a lot of great um, great features and, and graphs and, and charts and statistics that you can look at. We can dig deeper into that in a, another video, but that's one of the things you can, the last thing you can set up on this page. Okay, that sounds pretty straightforward. So now that we kind of understand how to get set up, how would we go about uploading, you know, some of our domains? Absolutely, that's a great question. So we come over to this domains page and you can see a couple options. The most straightforward and the ones we're gonna cover in this video are gonna be your bulk upload. And your individual upload. Um, bulk upload is done with a CSV. And then you, what you're gonna to need to put in is your name and price point, the price that you wanna list it at. Mm -hmm. What you can put in with the CSV is the description. So you have those options. When you're doing a bulk upload, you or a bulk upload individual, you just have a text box and you can type in the domain that you want to upload as well as the price. And as you can see, as you walk through here, they're comma separated. Then you hit enter and you put the next one in. Either one of those are fine. Uh, we're gonna we'll have a new another video that you can watch, which will talk about the third way to upload, which is via a Google uh, Sheet, which is synchronized with your account. So um, if you want to use that method, which is one of the more advanced and sophisticated, a really great tool, um, definitely stay with us and, and watch that video. Okay, yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate your help uh, on this one, Kathleen. No problem. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everyone.